Hi, my name's Richard Dubois. Um, I'm a small business owner. I run a property or planning consulting business in, in Adelaide. Um, I decided to come on this uh, uh, retreat to learn meditation and help calm my mind. Um, people that know me will know that I'm, I can be quite, I'll use the words, intense and passionate person. And they're probably quite skeptical about the ability for me to adopt it, embrace it, take the time to do it and for it to work on me um, or for me to work with it. Um, so I think I've proven my, my skeptics wrong. So um, pretty empowering actually, yeah. And, and not what I expected. I, I think I expected uh, incense, soft music, calming and you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, treating uh, the symptoms of a, of a busy mind. But I think we went a lot deeper to that than that and actually focusing on, you know, what, what's the problem? What, what's causing that symptom and how can we use meditation or how can I rather use meditation to help address the problem rather than, than just the symptoms of, of a cluttered and busy uh, lifestyle of mind? A lot of business people would all be, be the same. They also suffer the same pressures. Those pressures can be um, uh, tough decisions, long, often long hours, uh, stressful decisions that, um, uh, that can be challenging um, both in relation to human resources or to re research economics, all, all those sorts of strains and pressures that a business owner has through to cash flow and timesheets and everything like that. I, I actually think people in the corporate business world actually need it probably more uh, than, than others that are not involved in that world yeah. and um, if they did do more of it I think they'd find themselves more successful just from what I've witnessed and what I've seen and, and how powerful it can be. And it, and it was really interesting to learn the different philosophies from the Hindus, the Buddhists, to the, as I said, the North American Indians, to the Tibetans, to the Sheikhs, uh, the Sikhs, um, Judaism, all of them you know, were mentioned and, and how they've used in, um, different forms of meditation. So I thought that was a very balanced uh, approach and helping us sort of take the middle line, not be too hard on ourselves um, and embrace it and learn it, but don't feel like you're gonna be able to perfect it. Um, and that's okay. Uh, and I think that came across. Uh, uh, and just, just the, right, uh, the right balance of teachings, but also med meditation. Um, getting that balance right um, and breaking up the meditation as well. And also I should say the venue was fantastic. The food was great. So it, look, it, yeah, I can't fault it. So no, it's been very powerful and strong, but also calm. It hasn't, it, it's, not, um, it's, not a, it's not difficult, um, but it's, it, 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 whilst it's challenging, it, it, it's actually an enjoyable challenge um, that, that I think anyone can do. And I think actually, everyone should be given the opportunity to do and I think the world would be a better place. Mm.